Hey guys, it's Nadine Jolie here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first ever world overview and the world that we are going to be reviewing today is Strawberry Acres, the save file edition. This is a new save file just uploaded yesterday. I actually had the great opportunity to play test it for Milky Cloud Plan on Tumblr prior to her putting it out in public um and i love it i'm not even gonna lie there are certain spots i didn't look at because i didn't want to spoil it for the overview and i wanted you guys to get my honest overall review on this on this world and i could honestly say wow this world you guys know i'm a city girl and this world doesn't really give city but this world gives vibes aesthetic everything is just right with this place it has great scenery amazing landscape and the colors that are used in this world are phenomenal it actually makes you happy like you just want to play and, and feel happy the townies here are beautiful um they come with like really cool like last names and like names like i think there was somebody like with the last name Ch uh, hazelnut and like another person who had blueberry as their last name this is a great world to start a not so berry challenge and i may have to look into those rules because hmm, i think i'm ready for another challenge i think i'm up for it but yes this is strawberry acres by milky cow plant it is stunning and i cannot wait to go into some of my favorite spots here in this world and some of the spots that i didn't look at because i wanted to keep myself surprised so let's go straight into it i think we're going to start right here in this little town center we have the city hall and just look at this oh, just look at this so freaking pretty so freaking pretty the landscaping is amazing the way that it just like the colors everything just works i'm also using milky cow plants um preset for g shade so that it looks exactly how it looks in their pictures look at this grocery store it is so cute i don't think I've ever seen a grocery store. I don't know what grocery store this comes with, uh, this world comes with, or this grocery store comes with, which world, I don't know. Uh, but I will say this, before I really go into everything that this world has, I will say this, downloading this world, it's not a big world at all. It's actually quite medium. When I was saving my game prior, it took literally five to 10 seconds for my game to save. That has been, the shortest time since Hylewood for my game to save. My my game saves in literally a snap. <laughs> so I don't know what it is for, for it to be like a medium world with a lot of stuff. Yeah. And it came with a lot of stuff. It came literally with store content. Like literally, if you don't have the store content, guess what? It came with it. It came with the CC that she used for everybody's hair. Um, it came with all the rabbit holes from different worlds, even if you don't have that world installed. It came compact with everything that you need for this world to look exactly how it looks in their safe. Stunning. I don't know what grocery store that one goes into. Let's see over here. What is this? This is the, gotta come out a little bit. The pet and comic store. Look at the colors. Uh, so freaking cute, a gumball machine. I have never even seen that in The Sims 3. This is really, really freaking pretty. But look at this little store. And it's like a comic store and a pet store. So this is a comic part. Okay, it's it's small but cute. Like it has everything that you need. And it, it fits the aesthetic. And then here is the pet store. This is so freaking cute. All the like community lots I've noticed has like those tiles so for example they actually have two arcades and they're not too far from each other either they have the bowling and arcade here everything in this world has like a really cute westerny look to it like everything looks very like appaloosa plains like 2.0 like i love it let me see if i can open it up with my master control open all right so this is bowling and arcade and just look at it it is so freaking cute like this was made so perfectly with the colors and all the colors like just coexisting with each other like green floors 
orange floors, black and white, brown, everything just still goes together though. And it's so pretty. I love the use of these trees too. These palm trees look really real and really nice. Really freaking nice. I love it. Okay, let's close the, the bowling and arcade. What are we going to look at next? That is the day spa. It looks like it might have been recolored too. Like the rabbit holes look very recolored to match up with the town. The hospital, my Sim's going to work as he should. What is this? That is a dive bar. Let's check it out. Let's open it up and check out this dive bar. The colors are eating. I, I did see this, this little ticket machine. I'm not really sure what this ticket machine does. Like, if you guys could comment down below, what do I need a ticket for? Just let me know. Cause my my sim, actually, I had her go get one cause I didn't know what it was. And it expires in eight hours. Like, I need to know what, what am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Let's open up this dive bar. Oh, up here, it seems like you have your, like, your little play hookah. We're not gonna lie and say that this is not hookah. Like, I, EA knew what they was doing. They have some arcade and a like jukebox up here. This looks so, oh my goodness. Like, literally, this looks so fun. It has everything, your karaoke, more arcades, it looks like. Oh, I don't know if it's, oh, okay. It's because it's closed. It's not letting me do anything, but oh my goodness, it's so cute. And like, even if you have a band, like your band can play here. Hmm, I might have to have my current household move to this town. They're more city-like people as well, but I don't know. This town has everything I need for sure. Let's check out the art gallery and the museum right next door. Oh, this one's a lot more simpler when it comes to the colors used outside. Oh, but it has all the art that you need. <laughs> it has all of the art. Oh my goodness, yeah. The use of the... The use of the colors are still even in there, even with just like the white and the orange, like everything's just coexisting. Got your diner here. I love the random billboards that they have. Like they have a few of like little billboards just everywhere. Let's check out some other spots. I did want to check out the gym because I saved myself from looking at it before. There's a resort here, laundromat. Oh my goodness, there's so much to choose from. Uh, oh, here's the gym and the pool. Oh, it's right here in this little a basketball park. Like, I've never, I don't know if this comes with the store store content. I don't know if it, oh, oh my gosh, no, a ghost dog. What, what happened? Oh my God, the dog is dead. Oh my God, take it to the vet. <laughs> Trick. What does that mean? I'm not really sure what that means. Um, but anyway, <laughs> a basketball court. This is so freaking cool and it's interactive. So you could like practice dunking, practice. With I never had this in my game before ever. This looks super cool, like super, super cool. I might have Cam co come over here and practice some hoops later, but that is so cute. And then I guess this is the library right next door. Nice, nice. Your regular library still has those colorful tile floors that really like speak to strawberry acres. So I love it. Okay, here's the gym and the pool. Look at these colors. Like this doesn't even look like a gym from the outside. Like it literally looks like a retail store. I love it. Okay, so you have your treadmills and your tables. Everything looks really cute, nice. Stay with the arcade. You gotta stay with it and freaking look at this rock climbing i don't know what store content this is like i said but it came with the town and the save file and oh my goodness you could race train like this is such a cool interaction i freaking love that i love mm, ethan hazelnut he's kind of hold up he can get it <laughs> Okay, Ethan, is that his name? Or Eric? Ethan, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was just, just telling my friend that I needed this store content. This ballet, like, I think it's called Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board, or Stiff as a Board, Light as a Feather, something like that. Super cool store content that allows your child sim, your teen sim, your 
young adult sim, whatever, to do ballet. And I was like, I really need this. And look, it came with the save file. So I guess now I have it in my game forever. <laughs> so I definitely want to explore that in my legacy. This is so nice. And just it being included in the gym, like you have a lot of stuff to choose from here in just the gym. Like that's a lot. You could rock, you don't just have to do your chin ups and your sit ups and you could rock climb and like literally do something. Like I love that. I kind of want to check out the salon and tattoo spot because the colors are just speaking to me. I love it. It looks so freaking pretty. Okay, the upstairs is vacant, but the downstairs, pretty self-explain it has everything that you need and super duper colorful usually i've never really seen like a salon or a tattoo parlor that colorful and it was pretty freaking colorful and i love that let's check out this resort i have seen this resort in pictures because uh, me and milky cow plant have each other in a facebook group and i am obsessed with milky cow plants content for the sims 3 and all that they do for it like and especially this world like this world just gave look at this freaking resort this resort is so freaking cute wait hold on like what <laughs> i love it i really do let's open it up and see what these rooms are looking like oh it comes with its own arcade of course strawberry acres would be nothing without an arcade <laughs> in in every place i love that Making sure your sim can have fun. I wonder if you can get married with this. I don't know if this is like a real arch or not, but it's, oh, I've never seen this. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cute. So you can get married here in this resort and it, it's kind of a little compact wedding, but it's cute. Like it's cute, small, but very, very cute. I love that. You have like these new buffet tables. I've never had these. They're really cute. I don't know. I don't know. I thought. Those are really cute. Black and gnome. Okay. You have your gym in here. Your sauna stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. I swear I've never had the sauna stuff in my game. I am so excited to explore this. This is going to be so much freaking fun. This is so cute. Like this little resort. Like it's so freaking cute. Well, okay. I mean, it is a resort, but I haven't really seen rooms. <laughs> Oh, I see. I see a rabbit hole um, rug. Okay. Okay. So you can stay here. It probably is rabbit hole. I did have it, like I said, before the public release, so I could be missing some stuff as well. So it actually might have even more stuff when you download it now for the public release. The laundry mat, pretty self explained but it looked super cute next door, like super cute. And look at this, all the washers and dryers are different colors. What do we have here? Selena Kiwi, like literally, they're always named after some sort of like fruit. I love it. Where can we explore next? We have a nectary here. Okay, I never usually play with the nectary in the games. And this is, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, it's, oh my gosh they're cows oh my goodness you can get milk from them feed them tip them plates what i need to see that interaction i need to see that interaction that is so freaking cool i love this uh, oh my god and the chickens i used to see this oh my goodness i, I don't remember who reviewed this i remember seeing it so long ago Oh my god they have chicks oh my goodness and then you could play with the chicks you could harvest the net the eggs this is so freaking cute right here in the nectary like you literally have cows and and chicks at the nectary to like make wine and stuff oh the nectary is empty uh, okay okay i thought is it just is it just like that because i think uh, yeah i think it's empty but Oh my gosh, it's still so cute, all the stuff that you can do here. And then you still can make your nectary right here. That's really freaking nice. I love that. And there's so many plants to harvest from. Really healthy garden. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's check out the festival grounds. So right now, my uh, game is in summer right now. So this would be the summer festival grounds. But you guys know, as the um, holidays progress... Oh my gosh, I've only ever seen this in Mikey Me. I think that's Mikey Me's video. This cow plant be eating people and killing them. <laughs> I actually have, yeah, that's the only time I've seen it. 
That is the only time I've seen it is in Mikey Me's video. And now I have it in my game. Oh my God. I can't wait to play with that. That's going to be so much fun. Yeah, the festival grounds are really cute. They're cool. And then we have um, a graveyard, which is fully like populated. Not even going to lie. Like it seems like Strawberry Acres has some lore like that we don't know about because they have like uh, dead dogs, as you guys could see, walking the street. But they also have like other people here, like literally look this person and their dog died like that's so sad i actually did see them um because i played i played for a little while and i did see some ghosts at, at night over there uh let's check out this beach because actually milky cow plant told me personally that this was their favorite part of the world and honestly i see it i see it like i do like what like hold on get a load like this is nice this is a real freaking nice i love it so when you come to the beach it has you know your lounge of course and then um inside are, it's just a bathroom um it's pretty empty in here but like the shack still so cute to me you have like a cute pier here you can get married right here on the beach like so cute uh, when I was playtesting, I seen some sharks over here, so be careful if you're swimming. <laughs> and then you've got your boats parked up right here, and this beautiful mountain and ocean scenery is to die for. Uh, what else? Yeah, you could surf here. I did that in my like my playtest, and that was my first time ever. I actually got attacked by a seal. I don't know what that's all about, but they're here, and they could attack you. Look at this. absolutely stunning stunning and then there's a little oh my gosh i cannot forget about this this little nightclub right here lighthouse and dance club let me open it up for you guys so that you guys could see how absolutely adorable this place is so when you come in it's like you know a lighthouse which is so cute but you would think that the nightclub was upstairs uh uh it's downstairs and is lit as heck. <laughs> you have your DJ, you have your jukebox and your bar, and the colors, of course, are amazing. And like I said, it won't be Stra Strawberry Acres community lot without some arcade games. Okay, okay. <laughs> They're gonna spend their money on arcade all day, every day, and I love that for them. <laughs> okay, let's check out. So we have like a regular like plain park here uh where can we go i think we checked out that dive bar let's check out this chinese garden here it's cute it actually um isn't really anything inside uh at all i don't think yeah nothing inside but it is just really nice like as far as like the architecture of it and like the outside of it is like absolutely freaking stunning like oh we have somebody over there it's really really pretty uh, who do we have here lola green tea i'm trying to tell you <laughs> i'm trying to tell you everybody here is just like oh let me see this little equestrian spot like look at this there's a rabbit hole of course to do like your equestrian stuff with your horse and you have like all this horse training stuff and like back here you have like a farm like you know like just like non-interactive but just like the scenery is just amazing and then you have a really cute like train track right here so cute little random billboard of the sims 4 like look at this even when we come on this side of town which is like nothing it's literally so pretty and calming and like the road and the textures are beautiful i love this world it is so nice i would highly recommend it um let's i want to see some residential lots now and see like you know the town is not that big and that's great and i started with this family um this was one of the starter homes that i was able to afford this is the outside and it's really really cute um outside all, all of the residential houses come with bees like like you could harvest bees and um, harvest honey and you could uh you know do the bees this came with supernatural so you have to have supernatural for this but uh, the starter home is very starter i gave very very starter uh definitely needs a little bit more touching up but like it's a starter you know you start it you 
you make the rules here. I wanted to give it a makeover, but I was like, oh, I gotta do a world overview and I shouldn't touch anything yet. All I did was put some flowers here that my Sim gave my other Sims, so. It's really cute. Like it's it's real real cute in here. Like but you know it can go a long way. And like even like the yard, like you could definitely start off with like a cute couple or just one sim and definitely make your way up to some of the nicer and you know cooler t uh, homes in town. Here is like a family home. So this belongs to the Hazelnut family. We're going to open it up cuz we're nosy. <laughs> and we're going to see what they're working with cuz I Oh, okay. I was about to say I was about to say they're poor <laughs> okay well it seems fairly empty it does seem fairly empty um if you have this home or if you play with the hazelnut family you could definitely decorate this a whole lot this looks like this could be an office space you could make the uh kitchen over put a nice dining room here a small little dining room a living room here the the possibilities are endless they have some bedrooms here you could add another bedroom yeah super nice i don't think that most of the houses are decorated which i think that explains why my game saves so quickly and moves very nicely in this town even on even when i'm playing like i had very little to no lag i have had some lag though i'm not gonna lie especially when i plugged in regal save cleaner it would take out like 40 percent. so if you guys have seen some of my previous videos about getting uh, save cleaner regal save cleaner i would 100 percent recommend it so that you can keep cleaning your game not just this one but all of them all towns you know can get very like built up and bloated here's another really cute family home look at these freaking colors like this is so cute this is the lemon household <laughs> oh my god they all have like little fruits as last names i i swear this is the perfect house for a not so berry so when you oh this one's this one's decorated down to a t like you could tell this is for a family the lemon family look at them they're so animated and i love that everybody in this town is so fruity and animated and it's so cute i've never seen the shower before so it must have came with store content it's really cute okay so you have some bedrooms here kitchen a cat thing right in the middle of the kitchen i hear it so this person is a cat lady <laughs> um they have a crib here so they must have a baby and like a couple of like kids rooms like a couple so i, I bet the lemon family got it going on look at their backyard i know they got it going on oh yes uh, look at their backyard their swing set and their trampoline and it doesn't even stop there like just their backyard scenery like these trees the use of the trees here in strawberry acres it seemed like milky cow plant must have like literally looked at the tree catalog for the sims 3 and was like yep what the heck i see you guys in math like there cannot be two, you guys, there's too many of you wild horses here. <laughs> Register mod, like they just piled up right there. I thought something was there. <laughs> um, over here, we actually have a park right here. So this like seems like the like family area for sure. And like this playground is so freaking cute. And just look at it in scenery, like, like in nature, literally. Like they're outside, they're playing. No iPad kids were here. Like they're outside. They're literally having a good time here. This one says that it's a karaoke spot, but I didn't actually see any karaoke here, but this is a spot for them to do, uh, like if you're a magician or an acrobat to perform. It just actually looks like to have a good time. Yeah, it's really, really cute here. Literally, it feels like a music festival, like out in nature, kind of like Coachella. Like I gave a very mini Coachella, like right here with like the background and look at this like little lake i did have my sim also come over here and fish when i was play testing just to make sure routing was working and this scenery is so freaking dope i freaking love it milky cow plant went in and literally looked to see what type of trees are in the sims 3 and which ones are better than others and incorporated them You have your fortune teller here. Yep. Yep. This is really, really pretty. I would 100% recommend getting this amazing world by Milky Cow Plant and see for yourself all the things that it comes with. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my world overview. I know I did. This world is literally made to perfection. And I love all that it comes with. For it to be like a very country world and like 
all the aesthetic that it has i bet this world looks amazing in the fall and the winter if you guys have seasons so i just 100 percent recommend getting it if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe to my channel look out for some more legacy and a new let's play coming very very soon oh of course i'm gonna get something bring a group saver i don't know should i, I I'm, I'll, I'll do it <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye guys